Hello everybody, how are you? Hey, I would like to show you something really fast here. So I've got a CD only um, piano disc system. And of course I've got it hooked up to piano stream. And what I wanna do is first of all, I wanna make sure that this piano is playing as nicely as it can. So I'm going to calibrate it. So let me show you how you do that. Grab something like this, okay? And then get under the piano and look on the back of the control unit and you'll see a button that says setup. Can you see that? A little bit blurry. Put that thing in there, just push it once. Okay, now I should be able to start calibrating this thing. Okay, notice how that button's flashing. Okay, so push the fast forward button until a note starts playing right there. Okay, and so what I wanna do is I wanna go through and set a minimum volume for every note. Notice that one isn't really playing right. So I'm just gonna turn up the volume a little bit right here until it does play right. And the way that you think about this is you, say I'm calibrating this note. You calibrate it so that you play, okay, make, make it so that the system will play the note as softly as you can. And that's how you want those notes to, to play, okay? So let's let that, I'm just gonna sit down here on the floor. You can see that one's going. And then notice this little control unit. I'm just going to push the fast forward button to go to the next note, and then the rewind button to go to the previous. So let's go to the fast forward. Let's give that a little more juice. Okay, you can see that down there. Now I'm gonna go to the fast forward again and give that one some more juice. And like I said, just think of it um, as you sitting there playing the note as softly as you can and then get them as even as you can. Okay? And let's just, okay, see this? Let me go up a little bit, maybe down a little bit. Right there, next note. Turn that up. Next note. Oops, fast forward. Maybe up a notch. Okay, you get the idea. Maybe a notch on that one. Maybe down a little bit on that. You see what I mean, right? Okay. I know this is kind of tedious, but if you can just bear with me, we'll do this, and then I'm gonna show you something else to do with the app, okay? And of course, you can fine tune this even more by voicing the piano a little bit, as in pricking the hammer felts with a needle to adjust the brightness of the sound. But let's just do this. And of course, it always helps to tune your piano. But okay, just bear with me. We're more than halfway done here. Like I said, just turn that volume up and down until the notes sound as close as possible to being at the same volume volume okay, nice note. Okay. 
maybe go back to that. So just fast forward, rewind. Turn that one up a little bit. See that one's a little bit brighter. You can use a little voicing. But you see what I mean, right? Okay, getting pretty close. So basically, once again, just imagine you're playing the piano and play those notes as softly as you can or could, and then make this thing do the same thing. Okay, now when you get to the end, notice those notes aren't playing. And the reason why is because most installers, um, when they go to install the, the rails under there with all the solenoids that push the hammers up and down, they run into this leg and this leg gets in the way and we don't want to chop a big hole or a big channel right out of the side of the leg. So we would rather sacrifice a couple of keys up here in the treble since they're not played very often and of course down there in the bass. Okay, when you're done with this, another thing you can do is just fast forward through all the notes and rewind through all the notes like this. And so I got this to play as softly as possible. Now, when I play it back, um, well, you know what, it, it's, it's probably good enough, but um, you, if you feel like the lowest volume setting needs a little more juice when you're listening to the piano, then you can go through and do the same um, procedure and just crank up the notes just a tiny bit more. Okay, now remember this part, I'm, I'm done right now. And what you have to do is you don't push stop you push the play button, okay? And if you push the play button, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take that data and write it to the, the ROM chip on the CPU under the piano, okay? So the EEPROM. So let's push play and it'll, it'll record what we did, okay? Okay, there we go. Now we have done that, okay? Now the next step is to um, grab your iPad and if you got, oops, and I just turned it off. So if you got piano stream going, and I wish I could turn the flash off on this video, but I can't. But get piano stream up and running like that. Switch over to analog, okay? And before you do anything else, let me push and hold this analog button. And what, what this is gonna do is, on this particular piano, I'm never gonna use the digital interface. So I want to lock it onto um, analog so that they can't switch over, okay? In fact, it wasn't locked. So let me go like this to unlock it and I'll show you what I mean, okay? Let's go like this. Oh, the digital, okay, hold on, sorry. And I might have to close the app, something weird. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see if we can switch between them. Okay, digital locked, press and hold analog to unlock. Okay, let's push and hold this. Okay, I don't know why it's not doing something wrong here digital locked okay it says digital locked press analog to unlock so let's push and hold analog oh there we go do you want to unlock digital yes okay so now i can switch over to digital 
but I don't want digital with this piano because I'm just using a CD player, which is analog only. And I have a Bluetooth receiver under there and I'll, I'll get under there in a second and show you that receiver. And you can use a Bluetooth receiver or you can use a Wi-Fi receiver. But once again, I want this to be locked onto analog. And so the way you do that is you just, you just push and hold the analog button until that comes up. And it says, um, lock analog, disable digital. And you say yes. Okay, so now when I touch digital, it doesn't do anything. It just gives me that message. So now I'm stuck on analog, which is precisely what I want. Okay, now the next thing is you want to make sure that you send a full blast signal to the CD player, and then you want to control the volume of it using the volume control on the control unit and not on the iPad. So we want to make sure that there's always a full blast signal. So the way you do that is slide that all the way to the right. Now you have a full blast signal. And now we're going to push and hold this minus button so that we can't turn it, so we can't slide it to the left ever. It's always going to be a full blast signal. So I'm going to push and hold that like this. Set volume limit. Okay, now notice I can't go to the left anymore. And so can't, I can't go to the left and I can't go to the right. So it's stuck into place. And if you want to lock it even more, oops, watch this. You can push and hold the plus button and say set high volume limit. Yes, although that wasn't necessary, but now I can't go left or right. It's stuck sending a full blast signal at all times to the piano, okay? So now let's go ahead and push play. This thing might be really loud. In fact, let me see. Oh, so yeah, it's a good thing I checked that. The volume after you calibrate it defaults to 50, which is full blast. So let's um, go ahead and push play and see if the piano, oops, let me go here instead. Let me go, there we go, Ebony and Ivory, okay? <laughs> sending a full blast signal from, from piano stream and then I'm just controlling the volume here okay so much better okay and I might as well just show you two other things really fast while I'm at it um, if the piano sounds choppy to you get a crescent wrench and a three-quarter inch um, wrench and let me show you this let's go under the piano um, I'm not going to turn it off. I'm just going to let that keep playing. Let me turn this down a little bit right here, though. Okay, let's go under there really fast. And before I do anything, that's the Bluetooth receiver that I put on this piano. And it's in, um, once again, it receives an analog signal from piano stream. And then, of course, you just plug it into the CD in. We we'll see those red and white jacks, the CD in on the control unit. And then if the piano sounds choppy to you, normally you can come right here and grab these wrenches. I don't know if I pushed the iPad accidentally to turn it off, but um, you'll use this three quarter inch wrench right here. Okay. And then you'll use a crescent wrench right here. And then you'll, and you'll loosen that thing and turn it to the left so that this gives you a little bit of movement okay and see how that moves about that much that's that, that's how it needs to be for that sustain sustain pedal to work so okay i hope this video helps someone out there we'll see you later thanks